Good afternoon. This is Garacore EDC. Um, going to try to do a little video for you here today um, of a couple of my favorite Tucsons. Well, not favorites, but um, of course I, I love all my Tucsons. <laughs> um, but these are pairs um, in one way or another. They'll be done in twos, either a, a left hand or right hand version, or a full titanium, or a G10, or a carbon fiber, or titanium. Um, blade steels, different um, handle um, treatments and such. Um, I just want to show you some of the things Tucson is doing. Um, most of these knife models um, are older versions, or not older, but there's so many new models coming out it's so hard to keep up um, I have quite the selection and as I go through I will get uh, better video equipment and um, measuring devices and weights and such and so I can give really detailed reviews like some of the other guys do and maybe start doing some cut tests and some sharpening uh, videos of how I sharpen my knives um, most of my two sons as of yet except for a few I do not really use a whole lot of um, there are a few my TS 64 is one that I use regularly and have sharpened a few times um, it's about my favorite um, EDC knife um, but without further ado uh, we're going to start out with the uh, two son TS 108 it is the Garuda if I'm pronouncing that right pain um, we have one here in my left hand that is in the plain titanium version. It is the left-handed version in my left hand. And we have the bronze treatment on the frame, on the scales, in my right hand. Um, both of these are D2. Um, really like the look of these. Um, I bought this left-hand version just to, to have it. And as of right now, just a little while ago, I got a notification on my eBay that I did sell it. Um, I lost a few dollars on it, but hey, you know, pass on Tucson Joy to someone else. That's what it's about, right? Um, so um, my wife, because I'm going to be going into surgery tomorrow, my wife will be mailing this out um, probably middle of the week um, to the new owner. And hopefully he will enjoy it. Um, these knives are non-traditional front flippers. The pocket clip sort of molds and melds into the frame to where it's sort of, you know, disappearing. It's, it's an odd clip. It does work well in and out of the pocket. Um, the fit and finish on these are just great. Both of them have lanyard hole options. Um, they are both full titanium. Um, they are front flippers. They have the jimping here. The one thing that I, I reckon I don't like about this knife is this point here, the way it comes up. I wish it was more of a rounded, but I realize that the designer probably in, the, in their thought process is they want a good purchase to flip. It is flip easy. Um, it goes right open, um, has a nice, not a heavy, but a, a subtle ramp for you to grab your finger to close it. And when you close it, this area here, make sure you get your thumb out of the way so it doesn't close on it. Um, I do like the bronze better. Um, it's just a beautiful knife. The, the flowing lines, um, the blade centering, I mean, Tucson is really I mean I'm not a big fan of their auctions but one thing that it does do if you play your cards right and you bid properly and people don't get what I call bid happy and just jack the prices up the first 30 minutes it's listed and we have knives going for 150 plus um, it's just crazy which these knives, some of these knives are very well worth 150 plus. Um, this knife here is, 
I mean, the the design build and the quality and the craftsmanship and the work that was involved to make this. Um, I'm a machinist. I know what is involved to take a bare piece of metal, a piece of alloy, and make something like this. This is not an easy process. This traditionally on a manual machine would take days. Granted, that's a first off piece. Now, if you had fixturing and set up and jigs and so forth and you had everything set up in place, you could do it much quicker. But let's say somebody's making this from scratch. All he's got is a print and a pile of material and the tool need to do it with. It's going to take time. This is something that is not spit out. Now, granted, all these are done on CNC. You know, their control process. They're probably making these by the hundreds. Um... In course, in China, we know that labor is what it is, and it can be made cheaper. But Tucson has really stepped up their game. The craftsmanship, the the carrying, the little details they put in, the ramping on the detent balls, the uh, the flow lines, the, the the all the different designs that are not substandard. I mean, look at this knife. What is what is standard about this knife? I mean, it just stands out. It's different. That's why it's appealing. That's why Tucson is going so far, making leaps and bounds, is that their quality is top-notch. Their materials are top-notch. Their design is top-notch. They have everything going for them. They are just stepping up. I mean, just beautiful knives. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful. And granted, I got some lint on my oil oil um, but just a, a beautiful knife now I'm right-handed so for me to flip this is not as easy uh, but like I said I got it just for a uh, kicks and giggles to see what it was like um, beautiful beautiful so that is the Tucson TS-108 Garuda. Now, looking on the overall length, we're looking at about 8 and a 16th. Blade length, we're looking at cutting edge of just at 3 inches. To the hilt here, we're looking at 3 and a half. Closed length, including the point here, we're looking at not quite five inches i'd say about four and fifteen sixteenths nine hundred thirty seven thousandths of course i won't do that for this knife because they're both the same this is the tucson ts 108 blade centering nice thick blade stock very aesthetically pleasing pocket clip has a good spring to it in and out of pocket well Full titanium D2 blade. You can flick it open by the hand, but then you're when you're holding it, your my hand anyway gets in the way of it fully completing the opening. So there you go. Tucson TS108 Garuda Pain. Next up is the Tucson. TS-38. This was one of my earlier purchases in my right hand. This is the titanium in plain finish. And in the left is the same knife in black wash titanium. Now in the right we have D2. In the left we have M390. Um, this was my first... Well, no. I'll take that back. The the TS-35 Ant that I sold was my first M390. This was my second M390 knife. Um, this knife here is just awesome. Beautiful. I love a Tanto. They have a specific purpose for, for blunt force piercing. Um, and I believe if you could hold on to this knife, you could stab a car door no problem at all. Um, Really functional pocket clip. Works well. Has a nice ramp in and out. There is no lanyard option on this knife. 
it is very nice it um has a good sharp steep grind angle um, very geometrically pleasing um, the lines on the knife scales on the frame has nice cutouts to allow for you to close flies open all two suns run on bearings um, ceramic kvt is what they call it um, nice jimping on the back spacer Tucson TS38 done in D2 on my right and M390 on my left now you can see this is a night morning design M390 night morning design D2 these still have oil um, they're just lathered in oil when you get them some of these I, I pulled out of the package and wiped them down some knives I have taken apart some I have not as most two sons most of them have the insert for the blade engagement um, we're looking at you know, a good 40 percent engagement there um, just pure sweet I bought two of these and um, I sold one of these for my for my price to a buddy of mine at work he says it's one of his absolute favorite knives um, centering is is perfect as always on two sons um, you know when you take these apart and you and you tweak them and you oil them and you clean them and you sharpen them whatever you're gonna do to them you can get the centering off um, but as you can see on this knife here there's not much room for error the uh, the blade stock pretty much takes up the entire center line of the frame um, but yeah this is a, a nice small light switch flipper good solid lock um, failable let's see yeah you can fail it you cannot gravity flick this one um, it's got a good enough detent um, that it's uh, you know it comes out with a, a solid sound of authority um, that is the Tucson TS38 and D2 and M390 next we have two of a same feather <laughs> as I think these look sort of like a feather of a bird um, this is the Tucson TS-51 in the green anodized scales and the plain titanium colored scales. Um, the first thing that drew me to this knife, um, which was this one that I got um, in my left hand, was the blade shape. Now, um, this is just a sweet looking knife. The one thing I do not like about this is the pocket clip does grab tight on jeans. I wear jeans primarily most of the time. Um, I think this would make a really good kitchen knife. As you can see, you know, the sweeping, it would make a good food prep. Um, just a beautiful knife. These are a little more hard to find now. They're not as, there's. I haven't seen many auctions lately. Of course, as we all know with two sons, I've seen knives popping up that I haven't seen in months. You know, you, you think something's gone and then it then it shows back up. So anybody that's looking for a specific model, um, because most of these knives are purchased on eBay, you can find them on DHGate and Amazon, but be careful of buying from an actual reputable authentic because I heard there are clones out there. Um <clears throat> But clones are, are, there's, you know, I have some clone knives or different versions, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, but this is just a beautiful knife. These are both in D2. Beautiful. 
blade centering, no lanyard option, closed back design with the backspacer. Of course, you know, it has the hardened insert for blade engagement. In the colored version, I like this one. I like the green, then I like the, the gold backspacer and pocket clip. Um, same knife, nice light switch turn on. Um, again, you have a very nice blade, you know, very good. I mean, just slicey, Let's cut up some onions and tomatoes and, and whatever have it. Um, it is a little thick behind the edge, so it's not the best slicer. Um, but the blade profile itself allows for that. Um, just a really aesthetically pretty knife. Um, I wish they allowed for, they have a minor ramp in. I wish there was a little more cutaway here um, for closing of the knife. But beautiful. Tucson TS-51 in D2. Next, I will show you the TS-85. And they're calling this the tank. Now, in my right hand, I have the Stonewash Titanium. And in my left hand, I have the Stonewash Titanium back and G10 presentation side. Now, the one thing that I would possibly change on this, now, it, it's, I like it. So I'm not, I'm not um, talking bad about it, but I do like it. Um, but maybe a little smaller um, is this flipper tab. It's really pronounced. I've never been really big on large flipper tabs, but this knife is just a little beast of a knife it's grown on me since i've gotten them um, i just recently got this one um, i didn't when i bought this one i did not realize they had a g10 version now i don't know which came first the g10 or the full titanium if anybody feels like leaving in the comments and letting me know that would be greatly appreciated um, nice functioning pocket clip nice jimping uh, nice sharpening choil um, which most of the two sons have a sharpening choil. I'm not sure if I mentioned that on the other knives. Um, just a nicely done knife. It is a tank. It's, it's 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 not a big knife. You know, you put it in your hand. It's you know, I, I can barely get a pinky on it. Um, I have I, I reckon medium hands. Um, so it's just a really nicely done knife. The uh, the weight on these two sons are. They're not super heavy. Like I said, I'm going to get a scale one day. But you can see the centering on this is, is awesome. Um, again, maybe change the profile of this a little bit. You know, I could easily take this apart on both of these and carry it into my shop and put it in a little fixture plate I have and do a little radius profile on that and modify it a little bit, which might be done. Um, I also want to get into some custom anodization work. Um... I think I said in another video, uh, Hawaii Knife and Gear has a really nice, simple, quick tutorial to do with 9-volt batteries of, of doing some, some anodization on titanium. Um, it's really good, insightful, and uh, I think I'm going to use some of his advice to try some of my own. Um, but again, blade centering, perfect. Um, Tucson TS-85 tank. And last, I think, are my two most recent favorites um, are the Tucson TS-138. Now, I had this one. I want it. I got a good deal on it in auction. And this little thing here is a beast. It's good in and out of pocket. It carries fairly deep. Has a nice lanyard option. It has all the things I like about a knife. Small, compact. And then I was able to win this. And this is the full titanium version. Same knife, same options. Um, the one thing I'm not sure what this is for. You know, I can't get it to open by pushing on. I have tried. I have fairly 
strong hands, good fingers, good dexterity. You know, I can flick knives open. Um, I think it's an aesthetic option. Um, it can be taken off. Um, I'm guessing maybe if you could get the detent loose enough that you could almost grab it like a spidey hole and gravity flick open, um, that would be an option. Um, I think it's mainly there just for you know, pleasing uh, to the eye. Um, it fills a nice spot. Um, gives you a, a fidget factor to rub. I really like the geometric lines on this. Um, nice lanyard option. Um, love a lanyard option. Um, you could almost also put a lanyard through here. Um, flies open. Forgive me, folks. I got lint all over my knives. I should be cleaning my knives before I do my videos. <laughs> um, got some dust going on here. Um, the carbon fiber version, I love it. Um, of the two, I think I like the carbon fiber better, I think. But they're both just so beautiful. Um, open up with authority. Um, really like the forward finger choil. A combination of a sharpening choil. The, the jimping here. You know, this here, it fills the hand. You can go here and, you know, it just does. I get a little bit of a pinky purchase on it. Um, you can go up here and grab and cut. Um, just beautifully done. Um, really like this knife. They are the Tucson TS-138 in the carbon fiber and the full titanium. Um, they are night morning designs. No, I'm an idiot. <laughs> These are my buddy Wong design forgive me wong i was wong <laughs> they are in d2 um i'm looking through a camera and i write some notes down but i don't write all notes down um, i have so many i forget model numbers and some of them have names i, I actually did a video the other day i, I called it the reaper I, it might be the ripper i don't know um but i know we're not here to judge and nitpick and and Y'all guys know by far I'm making a mistake as I'm filming. I speak it eyes, you know. <laughs> I say sorry and apologize probably 10 times every video. Um, but, you know. Anyway, that's it for right now. Um, I'm going to close this video out and upload it. And then I'm probably going to do a video on some, uh, some spider codes that I have. And that'll be it before my surgery. Looking at being in the hospital a couple of days and probably unable to do anything as far as sitting and recording um for probably a week or two so after that um i'll be back and hopefully the next videos i will be doing i will be pulling after my surgery and getting back on my feet again i'm going to try out a new sharpening and strop kit i got i'm going to be doing it in, in a video and y'all guys give me your feedback and tell me what you think um on some older knives that I have that they need some dressing that I've used and uh, need some attention um, that the uh, current ways of sharpening work but I want to try something new I'm going to be doing uh, some wet stones some water stones with some strops and uh, we'll see how that goes um, so anyway that's it thanks remember support the NRA feel free to agree or disagree and Better Homes, Building Homes for Heroes.org. Um, support our American troops. And as always, God bless America and everyone else too. Thanks for watching. God bless.